their souls. Listen to your father. God bless. Now you have to understand. Was I still watching cars? What, what was I doing? Or how, no, I was a service advisor. Okay, so I was at Ross during those days. Yeah. So your mom was making like thirty-eight thousand, and we were rich. Mm-hmm. I thought I was the richest human being and I was a that had ever lived. I got a promotion in service advisor going from like ten dollars an hour watching cars, and I think my first year I did almost sixty thousand. So we were almost at a hundred thousand dollars a year when we had gone from two minimum wage jobs. Like so we were making like twenty four together. Twenty four thousand a year together, and then we went from that to a hundred. Like oh, we that's both, nifty. we both got better jobs like the same year, and we started saving money for a house. But you got to remember, the most expensive house I had ever lived in my entire life was the house that I bought with my ex Jessica, and that was a hundred and thirty thousand dollars. When I bought it. No, it was like one forty like one forty. That to me was expensive. It was a mansion. It had five bedrooms. Yeah, but I mean the house I grew up in was like probably an eighty thousand dollar house that my mom, you know, had rented. So this one grew up in a million dollar house and she you know, when we started shopping around, like I never in my life thought I'd be able to live in a fuck up. Four, five, six, seven hundred thousand dollar house, two hundred thousand dollar house sounded like a rich person's house to me. So you have to understand that my mentality is a lot different than your mom's because we, she grew up with money and I grew up poor. So well, you've been to Granny's house, Granny Nancy, and Grandma you've been to Grandma Nancy. Grandma Nancy, and that's, you've been not, to, that's not the house though. But I'm saying, and you've been to Aya's house. Yes. Okay. Difference in, in financial <laughs> sanity. Okay. So. We were house shopping, like, you know, she's doing the majority of the work, of course. And she texts me one day. Now, given this is 2009 ish, in 2008, there was a huge real estate crash. Yeah. It, like, half the construction companies went out of business. There were million dollar houses all over Charlotte, Weddington, Waxhaw in the three to five hundred thousand dollar price range. It was the best time I've ever been alive, probably your mom that you could have gotten a house way out of your budget for a very low price. So she sends me this listing on this house. Now at the time they valued that house, it was like 1.6, 1.8, yeah. almost $2 million. It was like, yeah, $2.1 million house. And why are we living in this and house? Wait, 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 what are you gonna find out? So the house was listed at four, $400,000 and you know, she said, let's go see it. And I said, why is it so cheap? Because that was even cheaper than... What they said. Well, no, that was cheaper than what the normal houses that nice were going for, even though the real estate market had taken a dive. But it turned out the builder was living in the house. He was a architect. He designed the house. He built the house. He was living in it with his family, trying to sell it as his first custom home. He was trying to be Granada Home Builders and, and Weddington. He couldn't make the payment, so they evicted him. They repossessed the house from him. So he went through and stole the lights, the kitchen cabinet. Yeah. One of the bathrooms didn't have a toilet, yeah, a sink. I mean, like, like, gutted the house. So, but you still should have bought it. Okay, but wait, wait, call, wait for the say story. That again, I'm gonna smack you. <laughs> okay, let me play the video and I'll let the dog in. This could have been your house. We've been very close to Maxwell's too. The staircase oh, the half Chloe. It was a four middle square. It was a four. Can I talk, please? <laughs> it was a four story. It still house. is. It still exists. Oh, what's I that? Have, it's a private pond. You had your own private pond. It was two point two acres of land. It had two staircases in it. One took you up three floors and another staircase. The kids' playroom, you, oh my god, at the age you were, you would have loved to have a wood ceiling for a kid's playroom. And it was like adjacent to the bedroom. Oh my god, you should see the picture of this house when it snowed. Look at that view. Now wait, 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 you're just seeing the outside. Wait. Me and your mommy walked through this house as a loving, romantic couple. I know. Our first but really, time. we're still like we so happy. Happy. People are more on. you just here. Please just wait for the story. Look this is the front door. You're walking book. through the front door. This is the foyer. Look at that staircase. You could, and they don't show you in this video the <sighs> view of the lake from that room. From the sitting room, yeah. The sitting. That was a sitting room. I hate you. 
Okay, but there's a lot more to the story. I just want you to see what we're working with first. Now, given this is the people that actually won the house from us in the bidding war, they did some work to it. I think it's actually two people after that. Maybe. This room right here was literally a ballroom. We, yeah, we used to call it the ballroom. And it looked so much big. I remember yeah, it so much bigger. Yeah, it, it is bigger. But look at oh, those there, yeah, it's, yeah, it goes like sideways like that. That was just like the area that you like, you know, went to go smoke cigars and play your piano. Yeah. That right there with the bricks is your pantry. That's the food pantry in a separate room. And this had a full wine cellar. Two sinks! In the bottom! Now, none of that was there. You gotta remember, there was just wires hanging out of the wall. The cabinets weren't there. Even the fucking door to the pantry was gone. Yeah, it was, it was there. a red door originally. <laughs> he took the door No fridge, no, fridge. no oven. It was gutted. Now, I'm telling you. Now, I feel like some of the cabinets okay, were there. Okay, but still, you but could have bought Wait. The, the house has sat so long with no air condition that the $100,000 custom movie theater in the basement had mold growing through the walls. Yep. Okay, but butler's wait. pantry. Wait. Dining room, which I still don't understand why this they put this in the dining room because they have a bigger table in their eating kitchen. Yeah, but wait till you see the master bedroom that had a fireplace in it. This is the office. It's on the other side of yeah, the dining room. Yeah, he had the office way better. The the original pictures yeah. when he was trying to sell the house actually were better than these. That look, that's the view that's down the front from, door. from the staircase. Now they acid etched. In the, the, the basement floor had an acid etching of a compass that was beautiful. You could look straight down, and then straight up was the biggest glass dome. dome that was missing. It's in the house in this, but when we saw it, it was a hole in the fucking ceiling. This is the master bedroom. Yes. That's Which where, had double doors, and that's about it. That's that's where me and your mom would have been, you know... Making new siblings. Making new siblings. Back then, we still would have done it. Yeah, back then, we would have done it. There was no it. barn. Oh, yeah, they put that slot in barn door. I wouldn't be able to hear you because I'd be halfway across the house. It's because I bent over and broke something. Which even that was roughed down. That didn't have cabinets. I feel like maybe it had the bathtub, the but the bathtub cabinets there. weren't there. Yeah, so and they, put, they put cheap cabinets. Yeah, they did. Yeah. The movie theater is the night. It's, it's a real movie theater, not the little shitty ones that a lot of people put in their house. I mean, it had like the stadium the, CD. It had the lower floor. Yeah. Of the I don't know if everybody inside of Ali's house. I'll show it to you. It's not in this video, but I'll show you. This is the guest room. room. This wouldn't have been your room. This would have been for like a passerby. None of this existed. But all of the house, every floor had tall ceilings. I had that same shower curtain that came from Target. <laughs> Literally. And that door that came from Flora. Flora Rodriguez. Okay, so that you see there, that was your bedroom, and through that little narrow was your playroom. That would have been your playroom. With the wood ceiling. You wood can ceiling. barely see, yes, a wood ceiling. I remember your mother fell in love with that for you. She was like, oh my god, and I was like, this isn't going to be Chloe's playroom. She doesn't need a playroom. And your mom was like, no, but that's what it was built for. And I was like, I was super against you having that your playroom. He was gonna go through your bedroom and just store <laughs> shit in your <laughs> other room. Yeah. <laughs> That's the extra fourth floor bedroom on floor four. Which back then looked like Nestor's hideaway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was none of that was there. Yeah. There was doors was and that was about it. It was rough, roughed in. Is that the compass? That's the, That's the compass. So the movie theater and the wine cellar, which they don't show you either in this video. Well, the wine cellar is behind you. Yeah, the wine cellar behind. And then, oh, maybe they do show you the movie theater. Yeah. All that paneling, and the seats are gone. But that's and that's about the way it looked actually when we saw it, except there was mold and all that brown and stuff. And no movies and no screens. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's but, like how Alex But I've seen it before it was like pillaged, and it had a beautiful screen. Yeah, that's the screened in gazebo that's attached to the house. Part like, look, that's tile. Oh my god. I hate you. Okay, so. We go, literally, the day she finds us, oh, and I had the, yeah, the burnt, the brick burn pit outside, leg, leg big enough, the paddle boat, you could even roll a boat back there. <coughs> I feel like that you were actually allowed to do motorized water sport. Maybe. Because it was big enough. And, and that no was one of, like, the big... It was built on a cul-de-sac, and no other house were there. So, literally, you were the only address on the Harbor Grove Road. I hate you! Okay, so now, the only thing that I always thought this house was missing was a pool. 
Yeah. It just needed a pool. That's it. And it was like, but I was in. could have swam in the pond. Yeah, but I don't swim in ponds. Okay. Stop that. Or just turn it down. Or, are you. I you hate oh. you. All right. We go look at this house and I get it. Our real estate agent's name was literally Buddy. I know. Okay. You know Buddy. Buddy's always this house, yeah. A year later. Well, it was before Buddy. It started with Amir. Oh, that is but right. But Donnie. That was a mirror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was before I met Buddy. So that was the first house we went and looked at, though, wasn't it? Or it was the first house we made an offer? The well, first house we made an offer. Okay, right, so you imagine. Wait, you remember Power Ridge? Power Ridge it was, was like nine, the size of this living room. It was yeah. nine hundred square foot. Yeah. Which, okay, that house is over eight thousand. So it's over eight Power Ridges put together with the different floors. I now, hate so, you. Okay, wait. This house is three thousand. So no, literally, like, this area is all of Pebble no, Okay, but I'm saying that... Yeah, we get that. Okay, but what I'm trying to say is that, that house was three of this house. Literally. And I don't even think that that square footage counted some of the square footage. Yeah, the like house. the covered like, patio. Some of that, and I said it was like 8,600. I mean... And that, the, it didn't cover the fourth floor because it was unfinished right. time. I mean, that house was literally a McMansion. So, because a 10,000 square foot constitutes a mansion and, 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 her, so, and that house was closed. But anyway... You it like that house you walked and walked and walked it's like you could never get to the end of it. We would have lost Misty. So <laughs> we left we left that house and given I had been telling your mom I wanted to spend like two fifty to to two eighty. Yeah, I think that was like, like you, you were like I'm not spending like three hundred. Not over three hundred thousand dollars and I, even at that I he was kept like, sending me houses in Mid Hill. I, I was Mid like, Hill. I was like I can't imagine like I just like I'm not a rich Hollywood celebrity like we can't afford this house now technically we could have. But in the condition the house was in when we went and looked at it, it needed every bit of a hundred to one hundred fifty thousand dollars of work. At least sixty to eighty just to make it livable. Yeah, because if you put no in cheap stuff no like they did, no light. It didn't have any lights. Yeah. The wires were just hanging <laughs> out of the ceiling. Like I mean, literally, this guy gutted the house out of anger at the bank. That glass dome alone that was missing was like five grand, and we would have had a whole one to see. Oh, I thought it was way more than that. I think he offered to sell it to you for like fifty grand. Really? I think so. Yeah, I mean, this thing was like a probably eight by eight foot custom glass dome. Stained glass, stained, glass like, like with hand a stained chand glass. Beautiful chandelier coming out of the middle. I mean, that piece alone was probably worth what Pebble Ridge was worth. <laughs> like, literally, yeah. that one light picture probably cost what our house cost that we were living in. So we we left that house. I loved the house so much that I told her I was like, look, I don't care if I gotta get a second job. Like, let's let's buy it. Yeah, they the bank wanted four hundred thousand dollars for it. We called the real estate agent. He said, all right, I'm putting your offer in. I think it was the next day. Like, I mean, he said, oh, there's three people that are trying to buy the house. He was like, let me you know do some figuring. So a couple of days later, he hit us up and he said. The bank is saying three sealed bids. Everybody puts down the maximum they're willing to pay. Whoever has the highest offer gets the house. So we start discussing it, and I'm like, I already didn't want to be in at 400. Like I was out of my comfort zone. Like to her, she's like, no, there's nothing. What's There's a her? condo in Miami. Yeah, exactly. but see, <laughs> and me and Charlotte, it's, it's, that, no, that's a great point. A duplex in Miami can cost you a million dollars, and that's what she grew up in. But here. Four hundred thousand dollars is to what doctors spend on houses. Like that's a lot of money here in this city. So I was super like, oh my god, like you know. I think we actually even started at like three eighty or three ninety, and I then he still, called back and said we have three sealed bids. Like I feel like I was still driving a ninety six Honda City. You may have been. Yeah, like. <laughs> was and that so, when we had that black Toyota that got in the crash? You never had a black Toyota. Never. You had a black Volvo. The yeah. Volvo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Don't downgrade my Volvo. Yes. Okay, <laughs> so finally she convinced, like, we get up to 400 and then she we got to put in that final big, you're right. We had come in, of course, me and your mom are never going to try to pay what they're asking. So we had came in at like 375 or something. Came back and she's like, no, we, we got to put in a full a, price. A full price. And I'm like, full price. Because there's two people in the world that can't stand paying full price for something. It's me and your mommy. Both. You know, so it's hard for us. Like, it's just in our blood to not pay whatever someone's asking. So that was hard, but I was like, all right. The sealed bid thing came in, and she was like, Tim, we need to go in at 420. We need to go in over asking. And at that time, 
Nobody was paying asking price for nothing. They couldn't give houses away. Yeah. Like the, 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 the real estate market is on fire in Charlotte now, but in 2008, 2009, like, they, I mean, people were like, I'll give you money if you'll just take this because I can't afford the taxes on it. Like it was horrible here. So she's like telling me to go in $20,000 over asking price. And I was like, nobody is going to offer asking. We'll be the only ones. I'm like, no, 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 like, Lauren, because we still had to come up with $100,000 that we didn't have. We didn't, she was looking into, like, how we could get a construction loan to do the upgrade. So then you were talking about financing $400,000, another $100,000, and it, it just became a half million dollars. And to me, when you say a half million dollars, that's... Like you sold an organ. That's, that's <laughs> California Hollywood money. We In Char Charlotte, North Carolina, dudes don't ever think about the number of half million dollars. Like, we've never seen that number before. So, in her world, that was a room in New York. And in and, and, and my world, that was, like, literally, like, buying an entire neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really you know? So, I was like, no, no. No. Yeah, um, but like all the houses in Hyatt are like above. But we didn't even we know Hyatt existed. We didn't, we didn't live in what You gotta understand, we had just gotten out of being poverty level. We were poverty. You don't remember because you were little, but we used to. Like we qualified we, for uh, the WIC, the women and, and Chloe, children. We, like we you're so you, poor, we're gonna give you government we, cheese. Dude, we took you we didn't to take Disney it. World. Your <laughs> mother cooked hot dogs and stored them in the hot sun in a locker all day because we couldn't afford to buy the Disney <laughs> World food. I hate you. And no, we fed yeah. you a foil hot dog. Hey, we you said num num, thank you, mama. We had to walk six miles back from whatever Pirates <laughs> Caribbean ride we were at to go get the hot dogs out of the locker <laughs> and eat them because we couldn't afford the $20 hamburgers at Disney World. Fact. Like that, like we, we went to a, a, what do you call it, one of those presentations. I'm sorry, you guys can afford a timeshare presentation so we can take you to Disney. But listen, your mommy had a box in the top of her closet that we would sell whatever we could. Anytime one of us did an odd job and got a little bit of extra cash, and me and her put cash in that box, that was either for a vacation or then it became the house fund. And that's how we saved our money for like a year just to be able to come up with down payment money. There's a lot of arroz con salchichas, a lot of mm -hmm. Vienna she sausages on rice. I <laughs> used to want that, though. but it was perfect because it was like someone begging for ramen noodles. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, you want to eat seven cents of food tonight? Yeah, Here you go. Very good. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we put in the offer. I'm, I am already like getting worried. He's freaked out. I, yeah, I really think we won it. I'm like, oh my god, where are we gonna like? How are we gonna pay for? I'm like, I'm excited. He's buying I'm toilets on Craigslist. Yeah, yeah like, <laughs> like I'm more exactly. Wait, exactly. is that how we got the toilet upstairs? No, 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 because we didn't buy this house. It was another <coughs> year after this. Like, there was many other failed wait, offers. Yeah, there were some other houses that I wish I could remember the address to show you that we tried to buy that again, make this house look like a cardboard box. Yeah. But we were happy to get this house a year later for the price we paid, but hold on. The dude calls us back and he tells us somebody else got it and we're devastated. And I'm even more devastated because, well, I don't think they told us how much it sold they for. They didn't. We had to find I it out. I knew she was going to kill me because it was my fault and I was the one that was like, no, she was right. If we'd have put in 420, we would at least met the other buyer and then I don't know what they would have done probably well put in one more yeah, of that offer, who knows more. how high it would end up going for but so it took like a month I think to report on Zillow how much it sold for so I had like a month before she could bury me over it but you got to remember we had only seen with a mirror we saw two or three yeah. houses this is you see that house and it fucked us especially me because that to this day is my dream house. So every house we looked at, put your phone back. I was gonna look up what house it is. Put your phone back. I'll we'll look it up. What the fuck was that saying? The every house we ever looked at. Every after house that we looked at was after the wasn't good enough. Because I wanted that house so much that I stalked the builder and found him on Facebook. The guy that had originally built the house, the one that robbed the house of all of its things. And I was like, yo, how much will you build this same house for? And he told me at the time, $875,000. So I was like, he was like, yeah, I can't build that house for less than 
eight dollars a square foot or something and it had sold for like three dollars and fifty cents a square foot so i'm like oh my god and of course we couldn't afford that much so we kept looking we kept looking and buddy came along when they showed us this house well hold on because the other day she showed me a house and she was like look how funny this guy like, is so obsessed with the 50s he built a 50s diner in his basement we bought that house <laughs> that's what i had to tell her we bought that house first and dad tried to buy a goat to go with the house because you remember that four acres what was that that was in that horse country across from Vicky's no, old house. What was the name of the road? I remember Bevington Place because that was the house I was. I know, and there was that Grace. Had a movie theater too. And there was Graystone. And what's the one that had that kitchen island as big as Graystone? Okay, or... that house was like eight or nine thousand square foot. Right by Vicky's. Old it was. House. It had a laundry chute. The yeah, walking. Yeah, the walk-in walk closet, closet was the size of like a bed, my master like a bedroom. Master bedroom. It, yeah. I mean, literally like a store. They just had like aisles with shelves and, and we racks couldn't. And you know why we May couldn't I buy that house? You now. We couldn't buy that house because the builder had finished ninety five percent of it. He never got the certificate of occupancy, so they legally couldn't sell us the house. Yeah, but now, how much would have would it? It was been? like four. Yeah, four, I wasn't eight. even three eighty five or something. It was something. a one point three, one point four million dollar house all day. Yeah, yeah I'm I sure slap you now. No, it wasn't. No. We tried. We, we it wasn't it sellable. It didn't yeah, have certificate yeah, of occupancy. You could only buy it if you were a builder, yeah, a builder who took it yeah. on as a project. There was a house with a diner. And four acres, your dad tried to buy a goat, but we, it had mold. We, won we actually house. bought that. It had a sauna too, remember? Yeah, we bought that house in an auction. All right, your mom was like trying to break up with me one day. <laughs> and thank God we won that house in the auction because I had a reason to call her and be like, hey, you're not going to be mad at me. We just won that house. I knew it would get her in a good mood. We bought it sight unseen, off pictures. We show up to that house literally every, it, the whole house was made out of wood. It was a huge house, but maybe 4,000 square foot. Yeah. There was mold, termites, yeah. every piece of that house needed to be rebuilt and replaced, so we respectfully declined our <laughs> offer. <laughs> we got our earnest money back yeah, out of that, too, because yeah, we, yeah. we put thousands of dollars down, like, yeah, we, we were, were really buying it. Yeah. And then we found this place called Bevington, which was in Charlotte. But it Across was, from the Trader Joe's that we got to close. It, it had a movie theater. It was really nice. We got super excited about it. Got into another bidding war. Lost it. And it had foundation issues too. Yeah, but it was a nice house. It just needed updating. But there were several that all put this house to shame. Now, fast forward a year, our real estate agent is tired of us. He's taken us every weekend for a year and shown us all these houses that were like, meh. Because six months later, after we had tried to buy all these nice houses, the economy had gotten better. So, like, this house was like 200 something thousand, 280, 290 thousand. Yeah, now we're, it's a year later, we're in 2011, and, the and, economy's and picking up. You could get a $1.3 million house for $400,000, and now you can get a $400,000 house for $300,000. Yeah. It's really about how quickly things change back. The real estate agent walked into this house. We had like eight houses to go see that day. I did not even walk inside. I looked at both of them and said no. And I stood outside. No, you guys both stood and, here and, where the pool table is. And by the end of the day, we, had, we were putting an offer on this house because it was literally. I remember we, the, this, the day that we bought this house, we were looking at some house there was like this old lady lived in here and she had like it the smell, paint. smell, yes. Yes, it smelled. We'll and she had house like, Hunter Farm. Yes, and she but See if you can find Bevington real quick. That shouldn't be hard to do. I, if I saw a picture of the house, I'd remember it. She had like these chairs that Aya does with like the embroidered. Yes, like, yes. and the house smelled. It smelled know, like cats. And but before old he brought us here, he did us a hunt. Uh, oh, Hunter Oaks. Hunter Oaks. I hated that neighborhood. Yeah. And, and one of the houses was like a grandma's house. Cookie cutter houses. Like. Yes, and that was your guys' issue because it was cookie cutter houses, and I was like, they your, make cookies. Your mommy was losing her patience with me. She was ready to have a house. Was it this and one? This one? No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I don't think it was that one. That's the same one. It was. It looked like the first two. Let's pull up on someone and let's look at the map. Oh my God. That that no, that one looks too big. I remember Bevington had some dope houses in it. That no, actually, this may have been it. Yeah. No, I think this was it. Well, look at the selling history. It sold in two thousand eight. Oh my 
my god, don't tell me this was it, because it's going to make me sick. Yeah, this, is probably home, so no. this house was dope. It still wasn't as dope as Harvard Grove, but it, it would suffice. It sold, this could have been because it sold in 2012. Nah, we were, it was before then. Oh, but it won't show you past that? No, that's the oldest. All right, one. we'll go back up to the pictures. I'll remember it once I see the movie theater. What reminded me, yeah, because the leopard. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the leopard print theater. Leopard. I don't remember it being that big. I don't think that's it, Veronica. That house, it was only like 3,500 square foot. Nah, and it definitely didn't have that gross. Remember the yard was tiny? It didn't have a pool? Mm, I don't think so. That No, that that's for sure not it. Okay, hold on. Let's look at the map then and find ones close to this. It was, I remember it was like right when you made the right onto Bevington, it was on the right. So if you follow the road that takes you to Bevington. What's the Harper's Okay, road? here's Bevington Place. Okay, okay. so. Whoa. Okay, so here's where you turn on from Ray Road. God, I didn't realize Bevington was that long. Cause you think it was like, like I thought it. Well, whichever way we came in, I felt like you just made a right on Bevington, and and then it was right there on the right. So it would have been at the beginning. I don't think it was that close. Mm -hmm. Oh, I keep on this touch screen. You know, that's what I'm saying. Like I don't think it was just looking like that. I I don't oh. remember the address. How much is oh. the Harper's Grove? I still think it's this. 50 they want $950,000 for it right now, which means they'd probably take nine hundred. And trust me, I was thinking the last four days where I could get $900,000 from. Although, it would probably cost $1,000 to heat and cool that house a month. Which is like a mortgage payment. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like, realistically, me and your mommy could have afforded that house. We would have been house poor. We wouldn't have had nice cars. We, I mean, we knew that. But we were like, this house has everything we want. We don't have to. We knew we were not going to be able to go on trips. It was to the extreme max of our budget. Like, but it was worth it. It had movie theater. Okay, I can't find it. Okay. What was the name of that one near Vicky's house? Because I'd like to see that one Gray again. Gray Byron Drive. Let's and that see. one didn't. That was not a long street. And that definitely was at the beginning. Because we still drive by that house. It's, I can't believe we still remember these names. That's how much we like these houses that we refer to them by the street name. Bevington Place. I just sound like where some rich uppity white folk live. You know what I mean? Like wearing and their pool. When I make it big and I'm in New York and I have much money to spend, mm. I will gladly buy you the house on Harper's Grove. Well, then maybe they don't want to sell it then. I, you know, the only thing that sucked about that house, the, the two things I would have changed, and I beg your mom will agree. It needed a pool, and it was... Let's get a pool! Yeah, a, pool, a nice pool that would have matched that house would have been 70 grand. It was far... I mean, I'm talking about... Do you know where downtown Waxhaw was, where yeah. the railroad tracks? It was another 10 minutes past that. I mean, in the country part of Waxhaw. So, I mean, you get off 45 and you're at this house in 5 minutes. It, you, you imagine getting off 45 and you've still got a 30-minute drive home. What? Uh, school district is that? Mm, I don't know. Ask your mommy because that's that really that was single handedly decided where we bought our house with the school. That's all she cared about. No, what do you mean? She did that for you. That was so many fights with me and her. You have no I idea. I don't care if I go to some. Oh my God, Chloe! It's not shit your... crazy school that like teaches. Okay, Tim. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was okay. Gonna, she wanted to put you in private school. I told her to go kill herself. Private school, mother. Are you? Yeah, because I, I was like, I went to public school and I turned out fine. She would just look at me like, you're a dumb redneck. <laughs> I think it was this house, even though there's not photos of it. And that look, I mean, it was a compound. Because you turn, you're driving down Providence, you turn, and it was the first it, turn. Yeah, and it was right. And it was like this one. Or yeah. was it this one? But oh, what's the address? Maybe we Google the address Some pictures will come up. Probably from when it was... No certificate of occupancy. Try 8749 White Hawk Hill. Look that up. Look up. My phone is recording this Acad Academy Award winning <laughs> documentary <laughs> of the house search from Tim and Ron. <laughs> I hate you guys. Dude. I wish we were doing this like when I'm my age now. That school? <clears throat> don't care. Yeah, but you were how old in 2009? Uh, three? Yeah, exactly. That's why you fell down the steps. 
that house you fell in those steps was a doozy too. Those stairs were. Mm-hmm. I mean, you bounced back up like I thought you were dead. <laughs> Literally, I thought I thought you would die. I was like, well, we watched you. That's it. Wheel from I guess we get a small house now. Yeah, like, got, like it was like in slow motion, like some circus shit, like. Your head hit every other stair. <laughs> like you tumbled like down. And I remember all three of us, the realtor, me and your mommy stood there, all of us were in disbelief and shock what we were saying. You hit the floor, everybody paused, and then all of a sudden you stood up and we all just started like laughing and just we didn't even like mention it again. Like No, it's not that's the only thing that that and the grandma house. I can't find it. I'll look for it later. Yeah, but anyway, like, that's the house you could have lived in that yeah, is your daddy's dream house. And, you know, now that I don't like to leave my house, I don't care that it's far. As long as there, there's a post office not that far away, that's all I need. <laughs> post office is closer to there than it is to here, I think. Yeah, no kidding. It's really close to Max. It's very close to downtown. Mm-hmm. Um, Waxhaw. Waxhaw. I'm telling you, oh my god, Chloe, and those pictures do not do it justice. Oh, Google... Let me see. Pull, I can't use those phones. What is there a piece I want of you to see the pictures of it in the snow. Google 8,000 Harpers Grove Road. 8, you 000. have fingers. Yes. Or I can't use your phone. 8,000 Harpers Grove Road. Yeah, Waxhaw. And then just do Waxhaw. images and see images. if you can find the... Uh, well, I didn't know you were doing voice. Probably shut up. They took some pictures the last time it was for sale that had snow all over it and those trees. And oh my God, like a freaking winter's paradise like like whoever did those drone shots i don't remember the view being that pretty we, we must have not seen that house in the fall because i don't remember the view being but we couldn't see the view from the lake no i'm trying honestly. to think it must have been summer because again i was working at ross and i only worked there from like i got laid off right before christmas yeah that's I worked the there thing. For six months right after we lost it she got laid off a couple months later so then we were like, oh. Then we couldn't buy a house yeah, for a couple months until I got to the We would have baked it out of that bitch too. Like, oh, my $38,000 a year. I, now I rescind my former confession. And see, that was intuition of me knowing we were we were pushing it too far because I, I knew something bad was going to happen. But that movie, oh my God. Y'all would have never seen me. You would have grown up without a daddy, without a second daddy. Because your second daddy would have been in that movie theater and you would have never seen it. I would have never left that Look basement. Look what somebody did to our picture. Look at Artemis. Aww. Mm-hmm. They put little ears on him. Look, the ears. Okay, where's my snow pictures? I can't find them. Oh my god, I'll Google it. Gosh, uh, so, oh my god. Can y'all just humor me, please? Like, uh, this is like winning the lottery conversation, me talking about owning that house one day. I'm you know, it's funny, for your mommy broke up with me right uh, after she got, or right before she got laid off from Ross and like I moved out. You probably don't remember. Oh, I do. You were wearing a red Coca Cola shirt. This was for a month. I know, in the you last. You were three. Yeah, yeah, you were three. And I, I remember like, one day you were like, I'm going, Chloe, I'll see you no. in a little bit. Here's a blue, here's a picture of a shower red. in there. Yeah, that's the walk in shower. I remember that. Uh, so she kicked me out of the house. I was devastated. She got laid off and... Look at this view she, of the house. We, yes, can I please open up? Sorry. So I'm at work one day, like, she calls me, we've been broke up for like a week, and she tells me she got laid off. And I'm like, sitting on the phone smiling, I'm like, nah, she will not need me back now. Nope. She was like, nope. So, I finally, like, a couple days later, I'm like, Ron, like, what can I do for us to get back together? And she was like, I mean, if you bought me Harper's Grove, and shortly after hung up so i really took that seriously and i was like oh all i gotta do is fire this house and we'll get back together and we'll be a happily happily ever ever but i couldn't buy it because somebody had already bought it and remodeled it and because an investor ended up buying it. i think they bought it to flip it and it was a million dollars again but i that, can't find it right here no nah, it's all right I don't, I don't I'll find the image someday. Yes. But I want to have that house one day. The builder writes me every once in a while on Facebook and I ask me if I'm ready to build Harper's Grove yet. Or like type them. And he's, he's a pianist. He, a pianist. He's learning how to play a pianist. A pianist? A pianist. A pianist? And, pianist? Yes, and he films himself playing little tunes on the piano. Oh, does he send them to you? No, but he posts them on Facebook. <laughs> I see him. 
He's a very talented carpenter. Oh, I thought you were about to say penis. I thought he was an architect. He's not a carpenter. No, he, he built. No, he actually builds. Because he's doing custom houses still, and he puts puts pictures of his work that's like custom carved stair rails and shit. Very good stuff. He is top notch. Top notch. Good to know. Top notch. He's gonna build me a house one day. Because <laughs> I don't know how many times this house is gonna change. I think everybody buys it thinking it's their dream house, and they're like. I'm tired of this two thousand dollar a month heating and cooling bill. Yes, and living in China. And, uh, yeah, and, yeah. And they're like, and Just the people who have to like go to work every day. Well, we hope you have enjoyed a, <laughs> a look back of Tim and Veronica's journey to a, to a permanent breakup. <laughs> <laughs> and they are not okay. Yeah. Not okay. Thank you so much for listening to our story.